president, John F. Kennedy. Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. Expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. No president should fear public scrutiny of his program, for from that scrutiny comes understanding, and from that understanding comes support or opposition, and both are necessary. I am not asking your newspapers to support an administration, but I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. For I have complete confidence. in the response and dedication of our citizens, whenever they are fully informed. I not only could not stifle controversy among your readers, I welcome it. This administration intends to be candid about its errors. For as a wise man once said, an error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. We intend to accept full responsibility for our errors, and we expect you to point them out when we miss them. Without debate, without criticism, no administration and no country can succeed, and no republic can survive. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Sola decreed it a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. And that is why our press was protected by the First Amendment, the only business in America specifically protected by the Constitution, not primarily to amuse and entertain, not to emphasize the trivial and the sentimental, not to simply give the public what it wants, but to inform, to arouse, to reflect, to state our dangers and our opportunities, to indicate our crises and our choices, to lead, mold, educate, and sometimes even anger public opinion. 
This means greater coverage and analysis of international news. For it is no longer far away and foreign, but close at hand and local. It means greater attention to improved understanding of the news, as well as improved transmission. And it means, finally, that the government at all levels must meet its obligation to provide you with the fullest possible information outside the narrowest limits of national security. And so it is to the printing press, to the recorder of man's deeds, the keeper of his conscience, the courier of his news, that we look for strength and assistance, confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. Pay attention. Good morning. I'm Scott Binsack. Thank you for joining me. It is November 6th. I'm here tonight, up late, as always, and sorry I was late to our MFA underground group. I've been so super troubled over the past, we'll say year, but over the past 35, 36 days, it has become more relevant to me how serious things have gotten. And I've warned over the past year that it was going to be coming to this. And people say to me, Scott, how do you know this? How have you predicted so many things correctly? Haters will say I steal it from others. It's impossible if I came up with it myself. But in reality, I'm going to tell you all something. Yes, I have good sources. Yes, because I've been through a lot in my life. Whether they be state, federal, whatever. Or I find them myself and go like I did in Vegas. And a lot of it, as I predicted, and most people, some of the people in here may not know, or publicly, if you look on my YouTube channel, I believe it was September 24th, and those who have followed me or in this group for over the month before, I kept telling them I saw 1016. And on September 24th, I did a show, and it has blood spatter on it, and it said false flag, and it said October false flag eminent, I believe it said the title. And I predicted that between October 1st and or through the 16th, a major false flag event would be carried out by shooting, bombing, possible chemical attack, and ISIS would claim responsibility for it. And then we ended up with 090101 on October 1st at the Harvest Festival. And I'll never forget that when I, people started sending me the messages and my team and, and followers and said, Scott, look at this. And then another member said, Scott, you remember you kept saying, you said you saw 1016, 1016. That's really, and he said, that's backwards. You were seeing 911. Backwards, that's October 1st, October 1st, Harvest Fest. I don't see 1016 anymore. People say, how is this possible? I wish I could turn it off, but it's been heightened over the past year. But ever since I died in a near-fatal auto accident, and I died, it wasn't a near-fatal auto accident, it was a death accident. And I was brought back to life after four minutes. 
what's happening in our world today is exactly what John F. Kennedy warned about and what got him assassinated. And if you really, really listen, which most people don't do today, to what the man says, it's exactly what the New World Order is and the the people that truly run this globe and even our government and all other governments, with the exception of a few. Are you hearing me? People have become so dumbed down and complacent by being raised from birth in a programmed way that they believe they're supposed to live and die as well as everything that is pushed to them on mainstream media, as well as in classrooms as children, as well as with religion in churches. It's all a preset doctrine. It's like living in dimensions. Those who can see the truth are in this dimension and live their lives in a certain way and discern what is real and what is not. And then there is the other dimension. The current dimension of... Sorry. The current dimension of... What you see every day. The dimension of the sheep. And people will argue all day long about what is said on the internet or what is showed, what is not showed, what is real, what is not real. And all they're doing is sharing what is shown to them, believing that it is true. And the key to survival on this planet from this day forward and has been for some time is discernment of what is true and what is not true, and who is really in charge, and who is not. And it gets me livid. And I will not argue anymore with people on the internet or on Twitter or the like. And I'm going to show you a lot of things tonight on Twitter and what's going on. Because people will still argue to the death. Look what was on 4chan. Look what was on over here. I did some research and found this over here. Just like the shooter in this horrible church shooting in Texas. And pay attention, they were using helicopters there to life flight people out to hospitals. Not one life flight anywhere in Vegas. The coincidence is 35 days we've had in 35 days, beginning October 1st, just like I said, before the fact that shit was going to get very real and that false flags were going to become eminent and that there would be shootings, terror attacks, ISIS claims, and that there would be a major event in the Middle East, not North Korea, the Middle East that would suck us into major war with Iran. So in 35 days, you've had, we've had three in the United States, we've had three major events. And some smaller shootings that didn't even get picked up by most mainstream media. So we'll look at the three major events. The one on October 1st with all the references to 0901 blamed on some old guy on a 32nd floor who never fired a shot out that window. Just like Lee Harvey Oswald never did. And people go, oh my God, the CIA is releasing the the, 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 the secret files on JFK. Do you really think that the CIA and our government is going to release anything that would establish that JFK was cold-blooded murdered by a deep state hit? Do you really? If you think, whether it be some term that's been put on the secret documents or Freedom of Information Act or anything of the above, 
But if when it comes to the CIA, if you believe they're going to tell you that Lee Harvey Oswald didn't pull that trigger, you're smoking crack. And you've been dumbed down. And people may not like my harsh words, but that's what it takes in this. Because people must understand what is real and what is not real and what the government is and what the government is not. Right now you have a deep state war going on. Understand this. And I said this previously. And now you're seeing it really ratchet up. Between the two great sides that were put there and the two political parties that... that Let's look at it this way. There's hundreds of millions of Americans in the United States. But when you look in the political realm, there's really about 140,000, 150,000 that participate in that realm and that really vote. Okay? Really, that's the truth. Hundreds of other American, millions of Americans don't vote. And they don't get involved in the political process. They go on with their everyday life and could give a rat's ass. And most of them are much happier for it. But in this political realm, between the Republican and the Democratic Party, which was created, created, factual documents have been shown and information clear that the two-party system was created to control, divide, and confuse, thus distract from what's really going on. And daily you will see And it's something I learned myself further. I knew it, but I really got it sent home this year with this, last year, excuse me, with this election. I will never vote again. It's a waste. And if you think that it is not, in this series that I'm going to do, and it will be sporadic, this is the episode one, I'm going to show you who the new world order really is and who deep state is. And if you think that any one of our presidents, with the exception of maybe two, I'm going to stick, even though I love Reagan, but even he's involved, okay, to an extent, but not, with the exception of JFK, and the man was killed, cold-blooded, murdered for it, it was a turning point for deep state in the United States, and they got away with it. And Johnson stepped right in. And the like. And people go, Scott, how could you say? I grew up in the mafia. One of the biggest, there's only five major crime families in the United States, so pay attention. I grew up around some of the, the most serious characters in organized crime. Just go to scottbinsacksstayingreal.com. The information's right there. I was the most wanted man by the U.S. Marshals. Chased around the country in federal protective custody. One time, signed on a on a on a confidential name, on a monthly basis, was paid, hidden. Until I met my my daughter's mother. She was an FBI handler. And you gotta love these people all on the internet. I'm gonna say this about the internet, and I will show you during this series what the internet really is, who created it, and who controls it. You're only being shown what they want you to see, regardless of anything. And people are like, oh my God, look what I found. In 35 days, three what major events being pushed. Largest mass shooting in U.S. history. ISIS claimed responsibility for it, but got blamed on a guy, an old guy, old gambler in the 32nd floor. Two, Manhattan truck attack. We have the ISIS poster child pop up. Everything's set up perfect. Everything's perfect. His computer, his social media, everything. Three, Texas shooting. Just pops up. Largest, oh wait, let let me go back to to, to the New York Manhattan attack, largest terrorist act since 9-11. Texas shooting, largest church shooting in the United States. 
largest shooting in Texas. All three of these situations were taken down by a hero. Jesus Campos, a New York NYPD cop, and now we have the lone gunman, gun-toting gunman in Texas. All, all, boop, 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 boop. And this shooting was carried out on the 5th in line with the anniversary of the Fort Hood shooting. Same date, same state. And they're painting this guy, he's the Antifa poster child. So we went from, you know, ISIS poster child, now we're in Antifa poster child. Based on what? internet and what is shown to you and shown to the world. It's like the photos from Paddock's room. People analyze those photos. You know when I saw those photos? I looked at them very quickly and was like, you want to know why? It's bullshit. They're really bullshit. They got leaked out deliberately. They create the narrative in this dimension and those who live in this dimension psychologically and know the truth don't operate in this other in this dimension over here because like myself we look inside there and go wait a minute okay and why because you must know who's up here and who's in real control and what is really being shown to you is programmed agenda and people will stand up and say, Donald Trump is God. Donald Trump could shoot somebody, what do you say, in the street and he'd still get elected. Hillary Clinton will be over there lying through her teeth about everything. And everybody just sits there going, oh my God, oh my God, Patessa's going to jail. Hillary's got to go to jail. She, she screwed Bernie. Trump over here. Trump did nothing wrong. Trump did I'm going to tell you all something, whether you like it or not. Trump's dirty. They're all dirty. Trump is the better of the, of the two? Actually, at this point, no, I'd say no. They're all the same. They're all the same. And you're in the middle of a deep state war between the new world orders, okay? And you got a deep state war going on, and it's getting nasty. And it's heating up. Okay? And it is heating up. And this is where you're getting this these shootings. They're gonna come after the guns. They're gonna have they're going to have detectors in every building, school, classroom. I told you. I told you. And it's gonna continue. It's this this battle's going to continue. You see the mess in Saudi Arabia. Okay? That was Donald Trump's arch enemy. That is a fact. Okay? They hated each other. They hated each other, the prince and Donald Trump. And yes, he owned parts of the Four, the four Seasons Resort. I'm going to be there as a VIP this weekend. Okay, On top of Mandalay Bay. I told everybody from the inception of Vegas that it was a Saudi, Mossad, CIA event just like 9-11. That's a fact. That's deep that those operatives in this cases are deep state. And people go, why would Donald Trump do that if Israel would do that? Your people are not understanding, and this is my point. This dimension here, this dimension here, none of these presidents, Netanyahu, Prime Minister, presidents, Netanyahu, Trump, Obama, none of them are in control. This top of the pyramid people, right here, are in control. And until you understand this, you're going to be herded around like cattle going to the slaughter and living every day on edge. You're going to be living in fear. You're going to be stressed about arguing with somebody on the internet that says Donald Trump didn't do this or Hillary didn't do this or somebody didn't do this. And that's not living. That's dying. That is living in a prison that they have created for you 
every day. And raising your kids under this guise is the same thing, and that breeds more programmed people to follow the same agenda. Please note, the bottom of the pyramid is much bigger than the top. Fact. So you see, this top must control this large mass at the bottom through propaganda, fear, and complete basic deception of what's really going on. And their agenda now is to get rid of the population, i.e. population control, and has been for some time. If these, the large mass at the bottom wakes up, what happens to the small mass at the top? What happens? This large mass at the bottom wakes up and sees the truth. Okay, even a great percentage of them. What happens to the small mass at the top? They implode. Thus, why they work very hard every day to make you live in fear and to follow this rhetoric and propaganda. And it's like banging your head against the wall to get this out to people because people do not want to get it. I, whether they refuse to get it, whether because they live in fear and don't want to accept it, and they want to live in denial, or they just don't care. In other words, they're programmed as well not to care. And it's sickening. It is sickening. Because when you're in this dimension, over here, and you look into here, and you see all these people doing this this battling, and, and, and this arguing, and all the stress, and the division, and the racism, and the hate, and the violence. You look, and from, you know, when you're in this dimension, you look over and you're like, what the is wrong with these people? This is our society. Like, and this is exactly what they want. And one thing I'll always agree with with Alex Jones on, this is the prison planet. We are slaves to this here. Right here. Slaves. Slaves. And sadly, because this new world order is heating up, and because there's discoveries coming on both sides, the Clinton side, meaning with investigations, and the Trump side with investigations and indictments. They're battling. And this is what they do. People jump all over Fortune. Look, look at the pictures from our shooter in Texas. I'll show you. Of Antifa. Oh my God, he's in black holding these things. This guy, ex-Air Force, allegedly the internet says he was, he was, he was dishonorably discharged for porn, epic fail, not happening. It's a it's fake story. The whole thing has been placed there. He's the Antifa poster child, right? Common sense is very limited. But once you have the knowledge of who these people are here and how they control us down here, you then have the first key to survival on this planet. And I'll say it on here, like Alex Jones and them. They, Alex Jones started out with very good intentions many years ago. Now he's just a paid shill. Sorry to say it, Alex, but that's what you've become. Okay? You pushed all this Antifa, 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 Antifa. Where is their great big riots and their great big protests and their great big everything epic fail but everybody was worried about this everybody tuned in to find out what was going on with antifa everybody tuned in everybody on the internet was sharing yes antifa november 4th through the 7th it's going to be huge not huge and now all of a sudden out of the blue we have a shooter in the middle of nowhere in texas on the same day as a fort hood shooting Saved by a hero, a killed by a hero, dead in a car. Up, oh, forgot about those similarities. With the exception of the New York one, he wasn't killed by the cop. 
but I'm sure they were supposed to be killed. You have Donald Trump not doing anything or saying anything really about Las Vegas at all on his Twitter feed. You have Donald Trump blowing up his Twitter feed and beyond from the New York Manhattan truck bomb. Oh my God, ISIS, close the borders, do all this. It's all the Democrats' fault, not me. Don't look over here at me with the corruption with Russia. Because I'm going to tell you something. The dossier may not be, you know, basically real and created by the Dems. Okay. However, what is real? What What is real is the data washing that went down. And no, it's not made up by the CIA. No, it's not made up by fucking deep state. It's actually real. And they knew about it, and they let it happen, and they build someone up, and they'll tear them right down. That's part of the whole narrative. Just like Saddam Hussein. Build him up, give him his weapons, give him his money, fight Iran, work with the CIA, and then boom, tear him down. Pablo Escobar, same thing. Fact check me. CIA operative. Four years. That's a deep state. Let's push all the cocaine through the world into the United States, which is their black op funding. A major part of their funding is all the drugs flooding into the United States and even around the world. Fact. And people will still go out every day and fight and argue about the war, about drugs. When our own government brings in the drugs and profits from them and benefits from the deaths. You want to know why? It's population control. Weapons of mass destruction, George Bush, Iraq war. False. But let's start a war with Iraq. Let's start that that, that fake war with Iraq and make it that Iraq had, uh, Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with 9-11 or bin Laden. Okay? You notice that the CIA dumped off a ton of stuff about bin Laden and his son right before the Saudi, you know, major roundup. And now, like I showed you, there was a missile sent from Yemen into Riyadh. That minute that I saw that post, I went on, boom, boom. I said, stay tuned. This is the beginning. It's a false flag. CIA heavy in Yemen, just so you know. Mass starvation in Yemen. Genocide going on there. Major proxy war between United States and Iran with, with the Saudis. I said, as soon as I saw that missile, I said, boom, there it is. There is the trigger for the beginning of the Iran major conflict. Sure enough, boom, what just broke? I shared it with you all. Saudi Arabia says Iran to blame for Riyadh missile attack. It is an act of war. Then boom, here comes the major biggest false flag is that the king's right-hand prince and and his team, helicopter on Yemen's border, boom, blown out of the sky. Okay, blown out of the sky. But you see, when you share that story on the internet, people come on there and go, uh, what do you mean? That, that, that those people were all rounded up. Uh, you know, that's not the same group of people. Because people don't read. People assume. People look at a headline and assume. And that's what this. This is what they want. That's the narrative. I can assure you as well. Let's take Julian Assange, the great hero. Everybody thinks Julian Assange is. Not happening. A Rothschild puppet. Fact. Do your homework. I've done many shows on Julian Assange. Rothschild puppet. Who bailed out... Joe Lieberman took down WikiLeaks years ago. Took them off the internet. Took them away from their financing. And Joe Lloyd Lieberman is the U.S.'s poster child for the Council on Foreign Relations, which runs... The major group at the top, the Council of Foreign Relations. Lieberman deliberately draws down Julian Assange. They need a hero, you see. They need someone that they can use to put disinformation out that the public is going to trust. Lieberman drags him down from the New World Council of Foreign Relations. Rothschild puppet. Guess who bails out Julian Assange? 
a Rothschild lawyer. Guess who gets WikiLeaks back on the internet back then? Rothschild lawyer. Guess who WikiLeaks uses, what country does WikiLeaks use to keep their servers on? Russia. That's right, Russia. WikiLeaks servers are in Russia. And what is Julian Assange? Oh, what well, my information has been totally correct. Yeah, they'll get the information. They'll hack it. They'll be given it. And they'll keep a lot of it, what they get in these emails, correct. But I'm gonna, you're going to find out, and it's another prediction, you're going to find out that a lot of the hacked DNC emails. Now, there's two different sets of emails for those freaking clowns out there that don't understand what really happened at the DNC. There was an inside leak by Seth Rich. And then there was a hack into Podesta's emails. That hack was done by Russia. The emails were then given to WikiLeaks because they couldn't be given directly to the Trump team, you see. They went to WikiLeaks. And they were changed, a lot of Podesta's emails, just so you know that, to make people run around in this crazy Pizzagate scenario. It's a fact. And you're going to find that out. Just like I predicted months ago, exactly what's happening now. And I will predict you are going to see Julian Assange indicted in the Russiagate situation. You're going to see Roger Stone indicted in this situation. You might even see Alex Jones, if they could tie him with Roger Stone to the information he's put out there. Okay, Indicted in this situation. There's going to be so many indictments between both sides in this. People are not going to even know where to turn. This is creating a major constitutional crisis. And yet people every day, oh my God, WikiLeaks said it, it's got to be true. No, they're saying it. They're saying it. Create all our bad guys created. Not one event in the United States has been carried out by a real terrorist of any of these major events. 9-11, two planes. Yeah, pfft. no parts, no black boxes, but yet a couple passports tied to Saudi Arabia, you know, Saudis. Okay. Nothing gets done to Saudi Arabia, though, right? Nothing by us, really. Not a zero. It's, it was a Bush, Saudi, Bin Laden event through using Mossad, Saudi Arabia, and our CIA. What did we get out of that, Shown Patriot Act. Homeland Security. Scanners in every airport. And then after that, we get the great shoe bomber. Take off your shoes now when you go through airport security. All created dialogues to control this big, this small, us massive. That's why truthers, real truthers are silenced. Real truthers are silenced. So now you have all of these different narratives for um, with the Vegas situation. We have the New York situation. Now we have the Texas shooting situation all within 35 days and the major shakeup with the Saudis. And now the king's very top prince, dead. Okay, we have... Saudi Arabia on the verge of war with Iran. Like I said, Iran was the big picture here, not North Korea. The big picture is look over here, and that's what they're good at. Look over here. Kim's going to shoot off another one. Well, what's really going on is over there, and there's a huge alliance that's been done. And if you notice Trump's meeting since the time he's come into power, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Jordan, Egypt, that's their alliance over there. And the alliance is to go against Iran, Russia. Thus Syria with Assad as well. I told you first that Israel is going to start lofting into bombs and or bombing inside of Syria. They already have over the past few months. And Russia is tying in with China and Iran. There was just a big summit with Russia and Iran the day before this happened, with the whole prince cleaning out the situation, the missile attack, the dot, the dot, dot, all of it. I 
I could slow down JFK's words again because I'm sure 75% of you didn't really listen to what he had to say. And he was killed for it. Murdered in cold blood. And the sad part is, and that's what bothers me, is the sad part is, is that there's so many good, innocent people living in this dimension and not, excuse me, in this dimension, in this, my hands backward, I'm seeing on the screen, in this dimension that don't have any clue of what's really going on and what's really happening and who really controls the world and who really controls the United States. Whether Donald Trump is president or freaking Bugs Bunny is president, it doesn't matter. The presidents are handpicked. And in this case, it went rogue with Trump, just so you all know that. Hillary was supposed to win. Hillary was supposed to win. Donald Trump himself even said, I did not expect to win. Okay. And it's created a very serious problem. Not because Donald Trump is trying to get rid of deep state and clean the swamp and all this other crap. Another big bullshit thing. All bullshit. And people are out there willing to give their lives and go in the street and protest and fight and defend Trump to the end. Sorry to tell you all, you're going to see. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it went down. In simple terms, Donald Trump and team, with the aid of Russia and data washing, and pushing fake news and the narrative. And guess what? Before any of this broke with Facebook, Twitter, go back and watch my old shows from seven months plus ago. I spelled this all out, took tons of heat for it, and now it's falling into play. And then the minute something happens that I said did, we'll say like Manafort. The other side comes out and makes an excuse that Manafort has really went down to get to Podesta. No, they're together. They're going down together. They didn't take down Manafort to get to Podesta. You're kidding, right? But this is what people will believe. This is what people will be fed and believe on the internet. It's like Breitbart News. Steve Bannon runs Breitbart News, but Steve, does anybody pay attention to what Steve Bannon said not even three weeks ago? He said Donald Trump won't even finish. This is coming from Breitbart. Some Steve Bannon, far right. Donald Trump, they asked him, do you think Donald Trump will fix his term? He said, no, I don't believe he'll finish his term at all. I think think he might not even finish the first third. That's what he said. And he would know, believe me. High-end, top, top secret clearance. He's now aiding Trump in, in pushing the narrative against the left. It's a constant bullshit battle every day and people wake up to this and go, oh my God, oh my God, Hillary this, this is this, you're wrong, I know this, I know that. And you want to know why people are stressed? You want to know people why people can't sleep? You want to know why? Because people, just like there was going to be this big blackout, I told you. Wasn't happening. I said it was just, a, it's a scheduled drill and it's, what's the word? Simulated. 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 Just like there will be never North Korea, as that's another narrative they're pushing, because they want to keep that in their in their pocket over here in this dimension. They want to say if we need to, we'll make it look like North Korea detonated an EMP over the United States and thus give us an excuse to destroy North Korea. North Korea couldn't detonate an EMP over the United States, even if Russian China gave him one. Just so you know that. They don't have the capability. And people are believing this little man, locked in his communist evil world, can really do anything. Where do you think he's getting these missiles from? And he sped them up like in in in, in like three months he had the technology that they didn't have for, for years. Why? Russia and China are feeding that. You got two different factions here in that in that realm, in the New World Order realm. Because Russia 
chicks Rothschilds at the curb after World War II because they know exactly what happened in World War II, and they know the Rothschilds funded it. I mean, the powers that be funded it, and the Rockefellers. They funded every war. People seem to forget false flags. False flags is the creation of an event to make it look like, I'm going to give you in layman's term, to make it look like somebody did something, okay, like another country or a terrorist organization, for those who created the false flag to use it as an excuse to do something else. World War I, false flag, sinking of ship, boom. We sank our own ship, been disclassified and proven. Hitler, Poland, made it look like Poland attacked Germany, never happened. Hitler set it up, proven to this day. It's been proven even years ago and through conspiracy theorists and the like that have been correct that Hitler was working with the CIA. One more time, David Rockefeller, Rothschild have said, we have created and paid for every war on every side that there is. Hitler was their creation. And with our aid of our CIA, we knew exactly where Hitler was after the war. They'll throw that out in the JFK files to keep people down that trail too. Okay. Hitler didn't die in that bunker. <laughs> it's... Just like them hiding everything that they're hiding in Antarctica. Okay? For a reason. Major reason. They're hiding the major planetary changes that are happening. They're not going to tell us down here when there's a, a full magnetic pole shift or and then a full actual pole shift that's happening as we speak. Why would they do that? Are they going to tell you that you're going to see, and I'm going to give you another prediction, that over 2018 you're going to watch sea levels rise very, very fast. Okay? From acute melting of ice. Rapidly. And you know what? You're going to see flooding in Manhattan. You're going to start to see flooding by the end of 2018, Miami. I mean, acute stuff now. You're going to see a serious ocean rise. And I'm not trying to digress or get off here. My point to you is this dimension is really reality. And over here is the other dimension that they up here want us down here to live in and to follow. Let's look at what's been going on on Twitter since this. And I'm using Twitter because we're in a private group and our private group stays private and what people post. So I've decided to use Twitter. Plus, it's a great way to show what I'm talking about and I can show you what's real and what's not real and what people believe is real and how it's built up because you have people that push these, these agendas deliberately. Deliberately. Cernovich and them and, 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 and uh, Jack Pelosi, all pushing that Antifa, 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 Antifa. Why? Yet nothing happened with Antifa on the March part, I mean on the big war part. Now let's take a poster child and let's make him the Antifa poster child. Like the truck Manhattan Drive was the ISIS poster child. Flags here. Fl if it's too perfect and too much shit. And yet people will go, oh my God, this is it makes me ill. Why? Because people could be freeing their mind up to really understand what's going on. Live a, actually a much less stressful life. And learn to survive with the truth. And coming forward, you've got your location your financial situation and your knowledge of what's real and what's not real is going to be key to your survival on this planet. I guarantee it. I will not answer questions right now. Yes, I got very bad feelings when I saw 1016. I cannot shut it off anymore. It's ramping up anymore, every, more. I'm figuring it out, though. Even just before the Texas shooting, I said to my daughter, I keep seeing all the past 24 hours, 1116, 11, 111, 
six, one, 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 six, one, 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 six. I also saw one, one, one before the other ones. And I know what's, I know what's happening now. I know how to, I know how to discern it now. I'm getting better at it. So I know when something bad is going to come and come up, you know, very either rapidly or slowly. I know it may sound corny to people. I don't care if people believe me, but you know what? My predictions have been right on the money. I even predicted an 8.1 earthquake six hours before it happened in Mexico, and Mexico didn't even get hit with that hit with an earthquake that size in a very, very long time. I can't make this shit up. It just it, it, I can't shut it off anymore, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. It's the truth. On top of my IQ and what I can take in as information and put together and put it back out. But this is serious. You want to be in church? You want to worry about going to church and praying and going to church and being, you know, freedom of religion, whoever you believe is your God, and not worry about some whack job, activated shill, come in and shoot up your church and your family while you're in a church? And what do we have? The worst church shooting in U.S. history. Then we had the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. And then we had the worst terrorist attack in between, the worst terrorist attack in between in New York City. And all three had heroes at the end who saved the day. Let's look at Twitter. I'm going to go down and find what I want. I'm in the main news feed, not on my, my page. This is the main news feed. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Southern Springs, Texas killer, Devin Patrick Kelly is being said to be a radical alt-left Antifa members. Lots of Facebook posts. Hmm. Lots of Facebook posts. The guy doesn't even have ears. It's very bizarre. Something of that nature. Lots of Facebook posts. So, and then they take his Facebook down. Then they share the pictures and try to leak them onto 4chan and make him this great Antifa, you know, major. What? Here's the key word. One more time, the two-party system. Okay. Radical alt-left Antifa member. So this is going to piss off the right. Okay. And also then thus try to incite even more division and fear and violence. Here, Antifa discussing attack churches. They may be from the same... Here's the keywords. They may be from the same group. This is how speculation and everything starts. Yesterday at 2.50, I find a victory lap taken by all the black mass types to be detrimental to the anti-fascist cause. If you're just following a black flag and can't handle a little criticism or self-introspect, you're not helping. Like, this says what? Antifa discussing attack churches? Where? Go after the heart of the far-right conservative churches. 22 hours ago. Look at the name. David Pollock. Hmm. David Pollock. Right here. Rich Hertz. Oh, I can't show you. Go up that far. Sorry, I gotta close it out so I can open it. Go after the whiteies. Here's the motive. This is what people say. His social media connects him to Antifa. Secure them by trusted FBI before they are gone. Right away. His social media. Anything can put, be put on this guy's social media. This guy is a programmed. Programmed.
player. Alex Jones claims the Texas church shooting was part of Antifa. Was this part of Antifa revolution against Christians and conservatives or an ISIS op? Alex Jones tweeted Saturday, Sunday afternoon to promote his show. Makes Newsweek. Somebody with some serious... The November 4th stuff was a hoax. White supremacists fell for it. I agree. And all these people pushed this. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see the division? This is what people do all day long. Here, this lady's calling for real Donald Trump and Sheriff Clark. Investigate who posted these tweets, please. Martha, no disrespect. This is the, here. Now listen to what I'm telling you. This is the difference between this dimension, the reality dimension, and the non-reality dimension. Right here. Real Donald Trump and Sheriff Clark, investigate those who posted these tweets, please. This woman actually believes, by talking to Donald Trump and Sheriff Clark, that they're going to investigate these tweets. This poor woman. Uh, no, they're don't even, not even going to see this, nor do they care to, nor will they. Okay? This is the point of what I'm trying to tell you. Sheriff Clark? People live in this, this world. Okay? Donald Trump. Do you see anything in this, like the outrage he did with New York? Mm. We stand strong. Everything's strong. Here we go. We got Matt Couch here. Seth Rich deserves justice. So do those in Las Vegas. We're out to find it. Thank you for donating and retweeting. Seth Rich deserves justice. So pay me. So do those in Las Vegas. Matt, you're investigating Las Vegas how? You've gone there and done what? You need money to investigate Seth Rich for what? And people believe that they'll even get a motive for this shooting and the truth. Here. Charlie Kirk, this is this is what I mean. I can't wait for the media to oppose Mueller. As soon as he starts indicting Democrats for colluding with Russia. Yeah, both sides are going to do that. The shit's going to happen on both sides. But the division, the division and the hatred for the meat, really. Now this is the sad part of this, of the deep state action. Five-year-old Ryan Ward was shot four times today in Sutherland Springs, Texas. He's currently in surgery. Say a prayer for the young champ. Bravo. Michael Skol Skolnick, bravo to you for putting such a wonderful post. Here it comes. This is what I want to point out. This is how you have the dimensional and what the narratives are created. This is the creation that they want. Vegas, Tennessee, and Texas. If you haven't noticed, there's a war on Christian conservatives in our country. There's not a war on Christian conservatives in our country. People have created this. This is the narrative that's been created to make you believe that there's a war on Christian conservatives in our country. And people will go along with it and just push it. This is what they want. And people become Twitter stars, and that's what their life is about. Woo! I'm a Twitter star. So when you die, you'll be known as a great Twitter star, and that achieved what? Just pumping narratives out there instead of the truth. Rand Paul Paul Rand Paul got ransacked in his house. I don't want to get off narrative. Here, look. 
Wendy in Virginia says, here is your, e your equality, biatch. Act like a man, get treated like one good job, officer. Watch this. Look. Look at that. The girl's drunk. He hits a cop. And this is what people think is good, that a cop crashes a female back and hits her. For real? Look. The girl can't even swing her hand. Boom. Cop hits her in the mouth. For real? For real. This is our country. We are in a police state. What did JFK say? Create more havoc to create more police. More control. And it's going to get more and more controlled as more and more false flags and events take place. They are on cranking on high gear. Here, look at this one. Stephen Paddock's ties to hallucinogenic jug, drugs. Here, wait. Stephen Paddock's ties to hallucinogenic drug scammers. Las Vegas shooting. Here. Crowdfunding makes my investigation possible. This guy right here. You know who he is? This is the guy who lied about me and said all that horrible crap and lies about me in Vegas. This guy makes up more shit than there is. Just like him and his wife got shot at. Like somebody affected his cars and his tires. Now Stephen Paddock's ties to hallucinogenic drugs. There's no such thing. It's bullshit. Just so you all know. It's bullshit. And people will jump on this. Because some shill, a nobody, decides to post and come up with some fucking harebrained idea that Stephen Paddock's tied to hallucinogenic drugs. For real? This is, this is, this is. This is the image everybody wants to see. President Donald Trump's speech in Japan. Woo! Here we go. Meet Kim Fritz, CEO of Uranium One and Podesta Group. The swamp is deep. If that fucking bastard wins, we all hang from nooses. See, this is, this is, we all hang from nooses. CEO of Uranium One and the Podesta Group. She was also campaign. Okay. The division between these two sides, the, def the, the, the Democrats and the Republicans is sick. It's sick. And this is what people, look, 1.1K likes. This just nine hours ago. People are so caught up. In this garbage. And they seriously are. Here. I'm going to show you a very stupid post. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer under real Donald Trump. Trump rise up. 63 million don't be left or right. Be make America great. So you know, ladies. 63 American people out of 700 million plus people in the United States is zero. It's nada. It's this much percent. In the, like you can put it on the tip of my finger. Okay? This much tip of my finger. If Russia is responsible for Trump's presidency, then 62 million Americans must be Russian agents. 1.6K likes. Pay attention. Obviously, you don't know what data washing is and how you target audiences, which Jared Kushner was the key proponent of setting up, which everybody will find out shortly. Okay? To target specific states and specific areas of swing states with negative news. That's why in the states that Donald Trump won by very, very slow, close margins, if you look at where the ads were targeted, they are targeted to these states. And they did make up lots of shit about Hillary. Listen, I can't stand Hillary. She should be in jail a long time ago, along with Bill and the like. That's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to show you there's no difference on either side. 
Here, now we'll get you something from the 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 the, the, the Democratic side. Who knows more about feeding Asian carp fish? Some Japan guy, some fish, or me at real Donald Trump who invented fish? Look at this. Oberman. Oberman, you're our Keith. You're a retard. This is what the world is. And here, here's our boy Julian Assange. Okay? Julian Assange has got to push this narrative. Why? This is the narrative that the right wants to be pushed. Okay? Julian Assange is a right-wing pusher. Okay? For Russia and others on the right. Was a, a, an avid supporter of Antifa and watched CNN regularly. You couldn't... You can't make this up. You're telling me they have the perfect narrative against the, the left, right? Create this shooter, pull him out of nowhere, okay? Pull him out of nowhere and make him an avid supporter of Antifa and watched CNN regularly. Really? And then he goes on to say CNN is ISIS, Antifa is ISIS, liberal fascist Texas shirt, church shooter. And you don't think that this is just, a, 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 like, in this dimension here, you would look at this and say, wait a second, the left is pushing against, the right is pushing against the left perfectly with that he's a supporter of Antifa and watched what? CNN regularly. Come on. Come on. Okay? Whether it's a fake account or not, Brooke, it doesn't matter. I said, we have our guy here, Julian Assange. Not the real Julian Assange. Okay. Actually, I think this is the real Julian Assange, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is not. This is the fake one. And he'd have a blue check mark. But my point is this. That's the narrative that they push. Now, I'm going to show you something. Three minutes ago, the mute 2099. This is my story, and this person follows me, just so you know that, okay? They took my story, stepped closer to going to war with Iran, false flag, sorty prince killed near Yemen border. It took my stuff, reshared it, okay? Without my name and anything giving me credit for it. This is the world that we live in. You know, Fox News is everything pro-Trump. CNN is everything not Trump. Okay? Now, here's the best part. There, well, let's look at Anon. Okay? Good morning. It is Sunday, November 5th, 2017, and I'm Angela So, a lot has happened since I posted my updated Q video yesterday, which will contain the first half of my you know, kind of documentation of what's going on with this Q person. Q uh, is an anonymous is name on Anon. Box in case you want to catch up. Um, as I said at the beginning of that video yesterday. Now let's, let's, let's understand this. Let's understand this. Okay. Let's understand this. 4chan. Anonymous comes on there and Anon supposed to be a, you know, someone whistle blowing from inside the FBI. If you give them the information, okay, to build the narrative, the sheep will run with it. Fact. How do you build up? How do you build up a false flag? How do you how do you make the public believe that it's true and that the person is who they really are and what they were about? Feed the public in a private realm, in other sense, to, that you are undercover or you're a whistleblower with the FBI or some government source and give them the information so that they can spread it like wildfire on the Internet and you just built their case for them in this dimension. And over here, we look at it and go, are you for real? Like this guy's the Antifa poster child and he watched lots of CNN. All against the left. All against the left. 
The day that Manafort, day after Manafort gets indicted and it's massive news, Manafort, 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 Manafort. They haven't discussed really Manafort at all since the New York terror attack took place and it changed the narrative like that. Like that. And Donald Trump went bananas on on Twitter. Bananas. Give him the death penalty. Go in there. Just fry him. Da, 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 da. Where's this about Stephen Paddock and, and the right and going off about what's going on in Las Vegas? Where's that about the Texas shootings? What, because the guy's not dead? You still could come out. It, because it's all bullshit. Right? And to change the narrative for Manafort, the deep state on that side created this event in New York to change the narrative and get people in this dimension that under, don't understand and the sheep to follow along with that. Now we have another narrative. Boom, we have the Texas shooting, the largest church shooting in U.S. history. But because someone posts something on 4chan of pictures from this guy's Facebook page of him dressed in all this Antifa stuff, that makes him part of Antifa. Does anybody know if somebody put those pictures on the social media or if they were really on his social media because they they ripped off his social media ASAP? It's FBI protocol now. I said that in a show. Someone else shares it. Yeah, Ron, you got it right. Okay? This is what I'm trying to say to people. It's one side against the other when it comes to this crap. And they are deliberately on either side, and the war is heating up, and they don't care about killing American innocent lives or lives overseas or in the Middle East or the like. Okay? They don't care. They don't care. And they can go to sleep at night not caring because they believe it's in the benefit of the planet and to control this this body right here. And when my next shows, I'm going to get into like, factual serious stuff of each of the, who the parties are up here and how they all link back I was shocked yesterday there was some very I shouldn't say shocked because they'll release some very true information on Anon because if that's the, if that's the story line they want to build, then that's what they'll do it. Now listen to this. Donald Trump Jr., I assume she was very fearful of involuntary suicide. When Donna Brazil fear for her life for crossing the Clintons, you know you're dealing with an unscrupulous gang of thugs. I agree. However, this is the post from the Trump president's son. This is what our country has become. This is the kind of stuff we're talking about having involuntary suicides by the former president and first lady and former Senator Clinton, who we know is dirty and the like. But they build this narrative because of the Clinton blood trail. And there is a blood trail. Okay, But my point is, here, Lou Dobbs, even Lou Dobbs, apparently not everyone dismissed Rich's murder as unrelated to DNC. Matt Drudge, Drudge. Brazil writes she was haunted by the murder of DNC Seth Rich and feared for her own life shutting the blinds so snipers couldn't see her. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You know what sells books? You know what sells books? This one statement in the book. She was haunted by the murder of DNC. She knows damn well. Seth Rich is still this constant. That's another conspiracy theory that's been twisted, turned, and dot, 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 when it's really simple about Seth Rich. And turned into this. This is all drama. This is what people live on. Matt Drudge makes tons of money on. And you know what? 
30,000 likes on this. 17,000 retweets. And yes, are the Clinton scumbags? Yes. But both sides are built up deliberately. By who? These powers up here. No one else. How do you think the Clinton Foundation got away for all the years of robbing everybody? And robbing the world? They both cheated. They both. And this is the scary part. Americans are not going to change the future of this country if they don't learn how to survive and thus by knowing what is real and what is not. And I will go in more detail. Tonight is just an intro, uh, intro and what, you know, roughly going across this because when I start to go into detail about this and each of these players and what they do and how they have affected this world and our country and who they're tied to, just like I know with Adelson, the meeting that Donald Trump had with Adelson right after Vegas was a warning to Trump. Pay attention. It was, listen, we want this, 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 and this, or you're going to get this, 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 and this. And then, boom, you have the Saudi retaliation. Kushner was sent to Saudi Arabia, gave the king the message. Boom, 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 boom. All done. Next, and then the retaliation back was taking out the king's, taking out the prince, the king's serious close commandant, and others on a helicopter to create a bigger false flag for Iran. Just watch. They don't care. They need a false flag. They need a bad situation to turn one to let the people of Saudi Arabia, the people of the world and the United States say, listen, we have a right to go out to war in Iran. Just like World War I, sinking of our own ship. World War II, Germany, blaming Poland for an act they did, never did. But the world believed it, and that's why Hitler invaded Poland, and World War II began. Let's create a false flag in Yemen and Saudi Arabia to blame it on Iran, because Iran's next on the checklist. And on the same day that Saudi Arabia starts flying back into Iraq for the first time, I think in like 20 years, okay, you get these other events. And then the rumors start blaring all over the internet about that. And that 4chan will put out the information that they want the sheep to believe. And some of it will be true. And a lot of it will not. People truly believe, believe and there is a pedophile ring in the, in the world. There is human traffic in the world, and it's huge, and it's and it's serious. Okay. However, the minute you, they tie paddock now to human trafficking and and and, and childing, they're tying. <laughs> they're tying everybody and anybody that they can to porn, child pornography child trafficking, human trafficking alike, because they know people will go down that rabbit hole. And they will follow that conspiracy, and another conspiracy, and another conspiracy. They learned this from where? JFK. That's where the when the word conspiracy theorist came into real full play, when the press and the powers that be started to press, or excuse me, the powers that be first, out to the world. You're a conspiracy theorist if you think that something else happened with JFK. That it wasn't just Lee Harvey Oswald. You're conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theorists, conspiracy. That was where that really, that whole conspiracy theorist situation blew up from. It was from JFK. It's a fact. No, wars don't bring countries together. They, 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 people believe that it does. Okay. War is control, power, the great industrial, military industrial complex. More people get rich. More people, more more weapons are built. More lives are lost. And control takes place. It 
Here, what does Donna Brazil know about the murder of Seth Rich? This is the new narrative. Change. What does Donna Brazil know about the murders of Seth Rich? Now it's all changed around. Donna knows. Here's the trick. Donna knows because she knows the Clintons. The only reason why Brazil is talking is the hammer's coming down. History shows that people die when the Clintons are involved. I still feel Hillary had JFK killed. JFK Jr. He was going to run for New York Senate seat. I'm going to debunk this right now. This is another fake bullshit story that's been going around. Okay, And I know for a fact, I know for a fact, a friend who knows JFK Jr., he was not going to run for senator in New York, and Hillary Clinton did not take his plane down. It really was an accident, just so you know. It really was an accident, and if Deep State wanted to get rid of him, then, well, they did something to the plane. So, regardless, it wasn't Hillary Clinton, though, because he was going, what is she saying there? This is still going on. I still feel Hillary. I still feel Hillary had JFK killed and blew up his plane. He was going to run for Senate seat, the one she wanted. He would have won plus president. Guess what? He wasn't going to run for Senate. He said he wasn't going to run. Hillary knew he wasn't going to run. And then what a perfect timing to dump it on Hillary to take out JFK Jr., What JFK Jr. was really going after, which anybody who knows him is true, and anyone who knows the truth about that, is JFK Jr. was going to, working on seriously exposing the truth about who took out his father. Okay? That's what JFK was real, Jr. was really, really working on. Heavy, heavy behind the scenes. And that was one of his main goals. Did he consider running for Senate? Yes. But Hillary knew at the time he wasn't going to be running for Senate because he said it. Yes, as Brian says, everything our kids at school have been taught is lies. That's one of the shows I'll be doing with this. And I'll show you why. Tonight I'm just talking and going over some things and making a general point to start out this new series I'm going to be doing on New World Order. These deep state wars are huge right now. And the victims are you and I, and the planet, and lots of innocent people. And the shills will keep pushing this all day long. Clinton's brother stood and watched two men beat this. I'm just going through this. It's just beat this two women, Miss Conley. Of course, Clinton should be in jail a long time ago. Why Why aren't they? You want to know why? Here, here's another lie. Both George H. and George W. Bush were at the airport the same day that John F. Kennedy uh, 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 Jr. departed. That is not true. Here, at least somebody, Carol Wood, you have a great mind here. I despise Hillary, but I don't think she killed JFK Jr. He had the makings of a fine future leader, but was not a seasoned pilot. Now we even get a better one. I also believe she was behind the death of Sonny Bono. You just can't make this shit up. And this is what goes around all day long. This one here. I read the report of his injuries as not consistent with skiing, smashing into a tree, and Sonny was about to blow their cover in Waco. Really? How do you know that? Donna, how do you know that Sonny was about to blow their cover in Waco? Not more BS. Look at this. This is what goes on all day long. Not just here. Facebook too. Just so you know. Facebook too. Facebook too. All day long.
Here it is. Look at this right here. This is from 4chan. This is from 4chan about our Texas shooter. And this is what I was looking for. On 11 4 an anonymous user on 4chan sent this message accurately predicting today's shooting. <laughs> what did they know? It's from Mike Toket. He accurately predicted today's shooting. Uh, this is 100% what I'm talking about. How did he accurately predict today's shooting if he didn't know it was going to happen? Because Anon, the source behind it, is government, deep state information. This was all about Antifa. And they predicted it. And they predicted it. No, what they did, you know what this is? This is deep state planting the seed. Please listen to me. Planting the seed for the narrative of what they know is to come. And they want these people to follow this lead to get them there. And this is what goes on. And this is how this whole thing works. He was the poster child for Antifa. Again, New York shooter, poster child for ISIS, all pro too perfect, all too perfect. And yet, this is how people are, oh my God, 4chan is the best, they predicted this and this. They're telling you shit that they want you to know. Here, Jack Pelosevich, another shill, far rightist. Credibility in the toilet. Antifa discussing attacking churches. Got it. Here. People are massacred at a church and the hardcore left's first reaction is to insult prayer. Solid thinking, guys. More attacks on the other side and this side. Jim Acosta, Trump predicts Abe will be purchasing U.S. military equipment that can take out North Korean missiles. He will shoot them out of the sky. <laughs> we can shoot North Korea's missiles out of the sky now, Jim Acosta. This is too bad. This is a real story here. That Senator Ron Paul, Rand Paul was Rand Paul was uh, assaulted in his home. Drain the swamp. Still going on. Here. Why would Donna Brazil? Donna Brazil's one little quote in her book given to the press first, about Seth Rich has changed the narrative completely and thrown it all back on Hillary. Again, this is exactly what I'm talking about. One dimension is real and the other one is there. There. Deep, crazy, and weird. Creepy, crazy, and weird. Texas church gunman David Kelly was outcast who preached atheism online. New narrative. Perfectly set up. And the guy did really complain that his head was hurting a couple of days. Okay? Before. Like, really, really hurting him. He said his head was hurting. He posted on Facebook that his head was hurting very, very bad. Very, very bad. Two days before he did this event. Several times. Hey, there's my pal, pal. Hey, Scott Bay, you stole my pal. So if Hillary funded the DNC after taking $145 million from Russia, does that mean Russia funded the DNC? 
This is going to go on MK Ultra. Thank you, Dale. I probably I forgot. Uh, this is just going to go on and 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 on. Because people will keep feeding into this while what's really going on is over here. Here, right here. Monumental wall construction. I stand with my president. Antifa is my enemy. Always has been, always will be until the final crush. I'm ready. Shall we dance? Antifa didn't even show up at anything really at all after all this shit. And this is what comes up. Because why? Antifa pulled off nothing. There were no big rallies. So what better way to suck the right back in against the left and Antifa but to trigger an MK Ultra possible individual to carry out a mass shooting. Set them all up with the pics, to this, to that. All set, all done, boom. Now we're back to cute division between both sides. Liz, I'm not discussing real news tonight. I'm making a point. Saudi prince bordering helicopter before a crash. Incredible timing of death. Cover up suicide. Suicided? Uh, no, he didn't suicide himself for real. Now here's another question to ask. Why would they have video of the Saudi prince getting into a helicopter that he uses a uh, majority of the time to go out and go and, and, and things? Okay. Oliver, what about the Iran missiles? I predicted the other day Iran missile that wasn't sent by Iran, that was sent by our CIA. I called it right on the money. Iran sent, uh, meaning uh, our CIA from Yemen sent over the missiles into missile into Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia reacted like I said they would. And I said it was a false flag to draw Saudi Arabia into major war with Iran and thus us. And sure enough, boom, that's exactly what happened. I shared it on our wall. I've shared it on my Twitter. Here. It's everywhere. I shared it in our group. What about it? There's nothing else to tell you. It's a false flag. What does David Rockefeller say? We're on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept new world order. Why is that? Why is that? Why is it? You want to know why? They live in fear and they have dumbed down and they believe everything that comes out their way. And then you add those here. This is really good. The Texas man describing running down the church shooter before police alive. I just acted. Look at this guy. Hang on. And we're doing we're doing homework on this guy right now. He was, he was, he Hang was driving on. past the church when he saw the shooting. And Johnny, can you tell me what happened next? Um, no, I, I pulled up to I pulled up to the intersection where the shooting happened, and I saw two men exchanging gunfire. The other being a citizen of the community, and um, the shooter of the church had taken off, fled in his vehicle, and the other gentleman came and. He said we needed to pursue him, that he just shot up the church. And so that's what I did. I just acted and got him off the road. And okay. All right, Johnny, it sounds like we may be having a little bit of a technical difficulty. I'm going to try to switch mics here. All right. Johnny, could, so could you tell me again, you said that you heard the, uh, you, saw the you saw the two men exchanging gunfire. Correct. And then one of the men, someone you recognized, jumped in the car. Uh, no, I didn't know him at all. I didn't recognize him, but just he just was a member of the community. And whenever he came to my vehicle in distress and with his weapon. What did he say? I didn't recognize him, but he was a member of the community. How do you know he's a member of the community if you didn't recognize him? Just saying. Um, he, just, he explained very quickly what happened. And he got in the truck, and I knew that it was just time to... 
it was time to go. Yes, sir. All right, so tell me about that. Hey, tell me about following this guy. Was it high speed? Was he driving normally all over no, the place? What was the like? No, no, sir. He got a little bit of a jump on us, and so we were doing about 95 down 539, going around traffic and everything. And um, Eventually, he came to kind of a slowdown, and after that, uh, we got within just a few feet of him, and then he got off the road. How did that happen? Did you guys bump him, or did he lose control no, by himself? He, he just lost control, and then that's whenever I put the vehicle in park because I was still on the phone with dispatch, and mm -hmm. the other gentleman jumped out and had his rifle drawn on him, and, and he didn't move after that. Okay, so I understand you guys called police as you were chasing him. Yes. Now, did you lead them to that point? Did they meet you there? or no, we, we led them to there. He was headed northbound on 539, and uh, everybody else was headed to the church. All the officers were responding to the church. So how long before police arrived at that scene? Uh, from the time we actually stopped, it was about... It was about yes, Sandy, you're right. I, I, after listening to me, wasn't talking about the shooter being a member of the community. He was talking about the other gentleman who was going after him. So I was going to correct that at the end of the video, but... Thank you for pointing that out. That is correct. About five minutes, five to This guy is just a guy who came across, got nothing to do with this, and he's telling the truth. But how do you know, that, how can you discern the difference between what's real and what's not? My point is, I know the guy's telling the truth. It's pretty simple to see. The guy's telling the truth, and he's got nothing to do with any, any, anything here, except being a good citizen to try to, to help and driving by. He's not an actor. He's not anything. He's the real deal. Seven minutes. And so the neighbor just kept his gun trained on him yes. that long. Yes, sir. All right. Here. Breaking news. Saudi Arabia blames Iran for launched for Yemen. Iran for missile launch from Yemen, where it could be considered act of war. What did I say? As soon as that missile was launched. And now that the prince's helicopter was taken down. Okay. Boom. You're going to see major war. You're going to see, watch what happens. Here, let's look at this. This is the post, this is what Saudi Arabia posted. Here. Who just sold, Trump rushed in the beginning of his thing and sold Saudi Arabia billions and billions of dollars with the weapons. Hmm. Saudi Arabia has accused Iran of being responsible for the ballistic missile launch from Yemen that targeted Riyadh Airport on Sunday, warning it could be considered an act of war. I can't wait to see what comes out about the prince's death and the helicopter being shot down on the Yemenis, close to the Yemenis' border, Yemen's border. This is where the real war is going after. The plan is... And Saudi led coalition to close all Yemen land crossing sea and airports after missile targeted Riyadh. Okay, here we go. I told everybody this is coming. Major war with Iran is coming. The next target. You got to have something to make Iran look bad, though. If you don't have something, this is my point. Dimension one, dimension two of reality here. This is what I'm talking about a reality, not physical dimensions. In reality, dimensions. You gotta have something to make Iran look bad so that Saudi Arabia, United States, and Israel can go after Iran in a legitimate war to sell it to the masses. So you create it. Just like we did with World War One, World War Two, 9-11, bin Laden, and the like. Gotta have a bad guy, so let's create the bad guy. We gotta go wreak havoc through the Middle East and our plan to take control. We create ISIS. And ISIS creates terrorism. ISIS then puts fear in people. ISIS will then claim attacks in the United States, which they really don't even do. And sure enough. Well, Saudi Arabia is backed by us and Israel and alike, and is a major pact between them. We will be in war with Iran. Just like weapons of mass destruction. That's right, Ron. Just like Iraq. People seem to forget this, though. They seem to forget George Bush up there lying to the world that 
uh, Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. So we send our men and women into battle in Iraq with a major war. Who helps us? Saudi Arabia. But no, that was legitimate, right? That was not created by Deep State. That wasn't created by George Bush at all and team. But yet people say we should trust the government. You don't want to trust the government. That's why we ended up with a constitution that got shot to hell and has been shot to hell ever since. It keeps going and going and going. Oh yeah, and we got Colin Powell, Cheney, and Rumsfeld that totally made tons of money in this deal, especially uh, Cheney and Rumsfeld, along with Bush, with Halliburton, okay? With Halliburton. And then left Iraq, it destroyed pretty much its water system, sewage systems, and the like, but charged tons of money that the U.S. taxpayers have paid. And let me ask you a question. If, if it was all legit, right, and it was all real, then why didn't we take, why didn't we take, why didn't we take Iraq's oil to pay our bill back? Ask yourself this question. Why haven't we touched Iraq's oil to pay the bill back for liberating Iraq? Ask yourself this question. People, sad, sad, and I'm going to, whatever it takes me, I'm going to educate, beginning of, you know, not, this is the first just overview of this, because I'm so sick, if you do not see the similarities, really acute similarities, in all these three events, in 35 days, we've had What? Largest U.S. shooting. Worst, excuse me, worst and largest U.S. shooting. Worst terror attack since 9-11, en route to 9-11, and the Harvest Fest was on 09-01-01. 9-11-9-11. Now, I have yet to examine what my team is working, examining the Texas shooting and the like of what's involved in that as far as numbers and things and ties to 9-11 and that. But I already know. I already know. <laughs> I don't even have to. And then we have then we have the largest church shooting in U.S. history and the largest shooting in Texas's history. All within 35 days. All within 35 days. Ron, I'm so glad you're part of this group. I have to tell you, you are a very intelligent man. Also, Bush, he says, also Bush family connected to Bin Laden via Arbusto Energy. That is correct. And the Carlisle group, Osama was fictional. Osama Bin Laden was created. Do you understand this? You ever put anybody ever seen the book, read the book, Osama Bin Laden? About Osama bin Laden. I mean, the, the, like the original character, fictional character about, you know, bin Laden. Okay. We created bin Laden. All those videos of alleged training camps and all that, you know where the mainstream media got them? The Pentagon. There's not one reporter ever been brought to personally to look at a bin Laden training camp and meet with them to do anything. And bin Laden was complete CIA all the way. He's alive too. Even Edward Snowden said it. He's alive too in the Bahamas. I fully believe that. I believe that before the fact we never killed him. I don't think we even killed Saddam Hussein probably. Oh, they microwave Northern California as well. That's a whole story I didn't even get a chance to do that I wanted to do 
about the California fires. I got a lot of information on that from my sources in California, and I have yet to do a show on that. Got caught up with this Vegas shooting and things. And these type of shows like this, of these ones that I'm going to do as investigational and, and saw on the side, we're going to start to do those like twice a week. And then every night is going to be like normal mainstream news, breaking news, things like that. Because as MFA News Network and the TV network get put up, uh, that's where we're going to go. But everybody's going to get it first in the group that's part of our, our, our group. Um, so we're going to go. I normally do, the, just so for new members, I normally do daily like world news and events and things like that. And I cover it within an hour and get it out of the way. And then these type of shows uh, I'll do at different times. Point being, though, and I'm going to say it again, you got to listen to what JFK has got to say. The evidence is everywhere from this, and I'm going to show it to you in this series. Now, new information, or quickly before I end this, new information has come out, well, not new information, new claims in this great theories of Las Vegas that there were 30-plus FBI agents checked into the Mandalay Bay. I will not say that is true or not at this moment. Uh, I'll be returning to Vegas this weekend, and I will not... High taxes. Oops, sorry, there was an ad that popped up on something here. Um, I will not discuss that yet over my phone or the like. Something's wrong with my phone. I'm, I'm taking... It's a brand new Samsung S8. Uh, I'm getting rid of it. Something is... Something has... Or something, someone has infected my phone. Uh, I'm going to the new iPhone because it, it won't get infected. It's very hard to get it infected. Uh, my my Samsung is infected. I can't load videos on Twitter. I can't load anything on Facebook. I have to switch over to my iProduct and my iPack, iPad Pro. Um, and then my spelling and that up going on with that from my phone is like all dictating and it's not working. It's it might just it's brand new too. So. Um, Anyway, that about the 30, these FBI agents, I will confirm or deny that when I get to Vegas because I will talk directly to my source. I do not want to risk them. Who's this person? I, who did I call retarded? I never called anybody retarded. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Who is this girl? Who is this person in our group telling me I said something about mocking people who are retarded? You're kidding, right? I have somebody, I grew up with somebody in my family who was mentally retarded. And I would never mock retarded people. So what are you talking about? Lalani, what are you talking about? Who am I mocking that's retarded? You know, there's a term of people like, like, Dumb, stupid, don't get it. Not physically retarded, okay? Not mentally retarded. So I don't know what you're talking about or blowing me up on this. Well, Deborah, I use burner phones to speak to. There's a woman coming on here. I look back at what I said. I used that term. I said it's retarded to think that, okay? I said it's retarded to think that. What does that have to do with someone being retarded? I, I don't get it. So I, one thing about me is I'm, I'm a very, very compassionate person. I may be rough, I may be tough and rough, but never mistake my kindness reach, but I'm also a very kind person. And I grew up with someone who, who was, you know, my aunt, my great aunt was retarded. And as a child, I grew up with her. Um, and my great grandmother sacrificed her, 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 basically her life to take care of her and not put her in a home. Um, but, you know, I'm not one to mock anybody who's handicapped because after my near fatal auto accident, I can assure you, I can assure you. I look at anyone handicapped and I look at myself as blessed because I was dead. 50 plates in my face, trach, collapsed lungs, okay? 
I could have been retarded, seriously retarded, mentally retarded from that incident, an accident that just crushed my brain. Okay. So, uh, people need to listen better, not jump at me. And I, I, I do not like, you know, people are very sensitive today. I understand that. Um, and with the stress that's going on and that's why I'm trying to really help everybody understand the truth I don't want people caught up in this madness every day I don't want people caught up in anger every day and, 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 and the like that's why I cannot wait we're finally at the brink we can, we're releasing survival group and I will be doing a seminar on what Atlas Cities are about uh, that we are creating for people to you know with condos and homes uh, in the survival community for them to go to. God forbid there's a major incident or war or weather event and that of the like. Because MFA is about building people together in a, in a good group of people, like-minded and the like and that. But, you know, please don't jump on me. Um, it's The word retarded is sort of old school and I've never, you know, it's me trying, different to say that that person was speaking like that meaning the person is acting retarded in other words like okay i get it um Yes, Australia, you need the same there. Yes, Holler. Australia is in very, very bad shape. Australia is without its guns. Australia has pushed all over the New World Order threshold uh, when it comes to the society of what New World Order wants. And no, Australia's prime minister is the main key problem and tied to here and... Uh, uh, but also, uh, uh, yes, Oliver, our goal with, with Atlas City um, is to have them all over. And it's key. Survival is key on this planet. Okay. I'm going to make this clear to everybody. Okay. If I offended you by using the word retarded, I apologize. Okay. I did not mean it in any way that that was to be that way. Okay, towards anyone. I'm going to say it again. I have had and have family members that suffer from real mental retardation. Okay. So. I'm going to say it again. I apologize and. I did not mean it in those terms and anybody in this group who really knows me knows I don't mean it in that term. So. Anyway, back to Australia. My whole thought process has been thrown off so that uh, it's like saying you're nuts. It's the same way. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, thank you for saying that, Jam. You could say you're nuts, you're this. And I'm going to say something. Okay? I'm going to say something. If people do not understand, and I'm going to say something before I say that, if people are truly super dumbed down. And that word dumbed down means is that their intellect has been brought down to a lower level because of the propaganda that is pushed their way as well as how our school systems have decreased in teaching real information of key value to the masses. And this is factual information. Then you are dumbed down. And that's what they want. And many people are also blinded and stupid. And I'll say the word stupid because they are stupid. Whether it's, if it's they're not their fault, okay. Most it is their fault because they refuse to understand the truth, nor did they want to face the truth.
Uh, yes, Mike is actually true. It also means inappropriate or foolish. <laughs> it does, actually. Same as ignorant equals no brains. As Stephen says, if you knew the definition of the word, you wouldn't be offended, and they're actually right. But I'm not going to Google, you know, do that and be... be uh... Yes, hamsters on the wheel go round and round, and that's my point. You need to get off the wheel, and a lot of it is... I'm going to say this. A lot of it is not the population's problem, meaning fault. Why? Because up here, they control down here, and they push the propaganda out to control it and deep state is in a heavy war right now and it's going to get worse more shootings more violent and they're going to blame each side this is exactly what's going to happen and they want war when it gets like this deep state is wanting something i tried to tell you all this with the same thing russia gate with trump just like they did with bill clinton with the monica Lewinsky scandal they told him we'll bring you to impeachment but we're not going to you know impeach you to where you're not a president anymore and rule that you you know you're told you're impeached and you have to get that step down they forced him to get into the yugoslavia war and do many other things these up people up here and david brock was behind that david brock who now works for the democrats and works for hillary clinton and is attempting to take down donald trump via the deep state took down bill clinton at that time working for the republicans it's a fact Research David Brock, Bill Clinton, and what David Brock is doing now. He's the one that brought down Bill Clinton with the whole Monica Lewinsky scandal, which they set up, created, and they knew they would never, they said to him, you do what we want you to do. Here's the deal. And he did it. Maslow's hierarchy of need. Yes, Ron. System set up to keep people struggling to survive so can't get off the hamster wheel. Hence, we can go to part of my this series that I'm going to be bringing you in detail is what Agenda 2030 is. And you know what the House of Saud, the King's Agenda title is for the House of Saud? 2030. The plan of 2030 for the House of Saud. Just so you know that. Yes, they have commercials to impeach Trump now. Again, it is to push the narratives out and out and out. They push it. People down here see it, feel it, and feed into it. And people love drama today. We have created a narcissistic society on top of it. A narcissistic society on top of it. Uh, yes, Kim, he had sexual relations with Monica, but what I'm trying to say is they knew about them and they exploited those sexual relations with Monica and held Bill basically at blackmail up here. The deep state, they did. It's a factual true story. Okay. David Braw created the big public okay, fallout to create the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Many presidents have had affairs. Many presidents have had many things. Okay? Whether it's been with people inside the White House, outside the White House, doesn't matter. Point being, they use this particular situation to hold Clinton hostage. And they built Clinton hostage. And they did. And it mainly was to get him to go into war with Yugoslavia and several other key things that took place then. And they said, you do what we're telling you to do. And... We will make sure. And that's why Bill Clinton is a very powerful guy. He has connections at that whole impeachment deal. He was brought into the brotherhood. It's truth. Not that he wasn't, you know, part of that whole thing to begin with. But I'm talking, he was brought into the brotherhood after that whole Monica Lewinsky scandal. He did what they wanted to, followed along with them, figured out how to get rich from the same thing and do it. And he did. Divide and conquer the deep state plan. That's right. Ah, uh, yes, Rhonda, that's correct. Almost all presidents, even JFK, was a great president, but you know he was very promiscuous. It was one of his downfalls. He even admitted that. It's a true thing, true story. Even his wife, you know, Jackie, admitted the same thing. He was very promiscuous. JFK was. 
But at the same time, he was a really good president. He was really, I don't even think JFK could be considered a Democrat or a Republican. You want to know why? Because his views were like for the people and right here. They weren't up here. They were here. They were truly here. And JFK actually saved this world. Everybody has a purpose on this planet. Just so you know, every soul has a purpose. And I learned that when I died. Every soul has a purpose, a real purpose. JFK's purpose could have been, and I believe it really was the purpose, was to to start to out and expose this shadow government, as he states in, in the opening video, as well as, more importantly, I believe he saved us from complete nuclear war with Russia for the Cuban crisis. Because it was JFK who picked up the phone without anybody knowing and got on the phone with Stalin and stopped nuclear war from happening. Okay, Real nuclear war from happening. And I believe that was JFK's purpose as well as his death opened the eyes of many uh and that's why I said, do you really think the CIA, people are like, oh my God, they're going to release the files. Just look. I didn't even, I love JFK. I'm a history buff with JFK and all like, but you know what? I already knew they weren't going to release anything that was super, super. The only thing that I really got out of that that was really good is that the CIA admitted either they let this one slide or it was the, it was the shit that they just wanted to throw out there so that somebody had something to nibble on besides the Hitler crap. But my point is, is that they threw out there the fact that um, the CIA has been paying mainstream media, 40 plus reporters, okay, for years and years and years to keep the JFK cover up alive, okay? Oliver, I actually know the story, the true story about the Marilyn Monroe affair, um, and I was told it by an old boss in the in the banana crime family um uh yes ron operation mockingbird um yes and both brothers did have an affair with marilyn monroe that is true um the truth behind that is that both of them did not know that they were going to take out marilyn because she became a problem for both the, for the Kennedy family and the presidency and the like, but they did not personally order that or have her killed. That was a decision made by again those controlling the narrative there. And when I say that, that's exactly the truth. Um, Uh, Rosalie, two hours before today's shooting, she proposed in Colorado Walmart shooter loner with no furniture and Bibles in an apartment. Unleash fury of white Christian Trump hate on Facebook. Uh, yes, that is correct that they did do that. Um, uh, and again, you are right. It is to unleash fury of white Christian Trump hate on Facebook. Okay. And then the left will come back with the, the Antifa and listen, watch how many, how many people was so worried about Antifa and these big rallies and that war was going to start. I got hundreds of messages from people, Scott, can you please tell me truth? I said, it's nothing, don't worry. And people can tell, attest to it here. I'm like, don't worry, it's nothing. It's just all propaganda, BS and crap. And nothing happened. Yet people became Facebook and Twitter stars and, you know, the online truthers and pushed the narrative. Why? Because people feed into the narrative in the two-party division. They, it's, they thrive for it. And that's what they have created with the two-party system. And out of that division comes chaos. And out of chaos comes control. And they'll let them just go back and forth. That's why I won't even argue anymore about Trump Russia anymore or Hillary Clinton. I'm just going to watch, let everybody see the pieces fall into place like they have been. And then you know what? They can't say anything. Okay, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> they can't say anything. What are they going to say? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just like Manafort. Manafort will never be indicted. Flynn will never be indicted. Yeah, get ready. <laughs> get ready. Flynn's been indicted. They're going to unseal it because Flynn's been cooperating. And then someone says to me this on Twitter. How can somebody cooperate and still be indicted? Now, 
no disrespect, I you know, that's not real difficult to understand. But maybe she does, and she argued. Well, they can't. If Flint couldn't have flipped and and still be indicted. Uh yes. Let's just look at <laughs> the key A to just plead guilty to lying to the FBI, and he cooperated as well. They still arrested him and and he, and, and convicted him. That's how it works. I've been there. They want you to test, you know, listen, we'll just make you help. We'll recommend to the judge just so you know how a proffer agreement works. You help us based on how strong the evidence is you give us and what it leads to. If it leads to indictments and prosecution of who our target is, we will recommend that the judge to sentence and let them know that you deserve a lighter, a much leaner sentence for helping us. That's how the proffer works with the federal government. It doesn't mean you don't get indicted. Good night, Deborah. So, anyway, uh, uh, please, deep state wars have begun, and they're going to get bad. This is going to get uglier, trust me, uglier. Brian, very, very good quote and well stated, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln was another good president that got what? Assassinated. Okay? Assassinated. Any of the good presidents that were for for the people have been assassinated. And like Reagan, they were attempted to be assassinated. And God was with Ronald Reagan because Bushes the Bush Bushes wanted to take him out and they were behind those assassinations attempts on Ronald Reagan. Never make your vice president, the the vice president, the head, the former head of the CIA. That was the deep state's in for Reagan, by the way, just so you know that with Bush. Bush was the controller for them up here with Reagan here over the people. In other words, Bush was the person that controlled for deep state and a tie. Do you know who the key person is? One of the main key people are for deep state for Donald Trump. McMaster, just so you know. McMaster's a deep state operative. Fact. That was another reason why Flynn, they had to get Flynn out of there is to get McMaster in there. Okay? So McMaster is very key to New World Order and the like. And if it was up to him, he would have nuked North Korea already and Iran and the rest of them. Dangerous man. Uh, yes, Ron, I fully believe uh, with this shooting, this is horrible as it is, and what's to come, you will see a a push for gun grab, heavy, heavy push for gun grab. With Donald Trump still in, um, I don't think you're going to see any major change in that. Uh, but he will slide on some of this stuff uh, and cave to create more gun laws. Because that's part of the, you know, and, and gun confiscation. Like Australia, they confiscated, they, they asked everybody to turn in their guns. And dumb people, and I'm going to use the word dumb, people that, the, I'm talking about the government now, part of their plan. Here they go, good people and honest people, citizens, turn in their guns, and the bad guys kept theirs. Now when you look at the statistics on Australia, there's more robberies and murders in Australia because storekeepers and the like can't, protect themselves, you know, uh, when when somebody real comes in to rob them or shoot them. Okay? <laughs> I mean, it just it doesn't work. But that's Australia's control is very serious and very strong and that's the United States is heading right right there. Very much right there. Very much. They will ban ARs. Yes, Dale. I fully believe that. Yes, Liz, I know you didn't have a choice. That was the law that it was. Okay? I, I get what happened to Australia and I'm 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 all for you. What are people in bad moods tonight or what? Is there like a full moon? Yikes. Whew. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I have a very busy week. I'm gonna be in Kansas flying out to meet board members on Tuesday for uh, our 
we have to measure up uh, the missile base at Atlas City One for the architects, as well as uh, do some financial meetings having to do with the, the 150 acres we were under contract with to buy with the base. So I'll be in Kansas for four days, then back out to Vegas. I'm going to be shooting a seminar at our offices in Las Vegas on Friday, uh, and then it will be up after it's professionally edited and done the things. Um, and uh, I'm going to be investigating other things with Vegas. And I'm getting involved now heavy with the Texas situation. I just haven't been. I've gotten the pieces here and there of what it is and what I know to be true and not true. So. <clears throat> please you people have got to really learn what discernment is and to understand who runs the show okay and they'll never control me or my brain never ever and believe me I was victim for a long time no no uh uh not happening people here need to wake up to what these people are here and stop living under the false guise of the the belief that your vote counts and that the two parties mean something and that the president has a choice against them and he doesn't that includes Donald Trump Uh, yes, Sandra, you heard a talking head feeding into the propaganda yesterday, passing fake news, claiming Antifa traveled to Syria to learn how to wage war. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not. When he mentioned the LGBT was included, the debate was on. How stupid. I agree. This is my point. And you'll watch this all day long on mainstream media, on the feeds. You'll just, you'll watch it all day long. All day long. I'll tell you, thank you, Linda, very much. Good night. Uh, thank you, Sandra. Um, I, I'm, I'm telling you, people have got to, and I'm going to bring you the, I'm going to bring you the truth about who Deep State is, and one by one, in different shows about it. Thanks, Brian. Thank you all. Welcome to our new members um, and the like. But, uh, you know, like I said, sure, Ron, I'm going to be showing everybody uh, about Atlas Cities and what we have and what we're doing there, and it's just phenomenal. And there's also offers for members only to, you'll be seeing a uh, uh, slide share presentation as well on that on how to become part of we have great officers here, and we have board one, board two, board three level board members who own, uh, have membership shares in the LLC, and we own the, the LLC owns all the other companies and the structures we have with MFE TV coming out, survival store group. We have a whole incredible thing coming out. Uh, Uh, Rick, the planetary situation is, is, is uh, I have to get caught up on that in regular shows, but I will tell you the same thing. We are going through a magnetic shift, and that I, I fully believe in what I'm being shown and feel and being led to is that there will be a full pole shift by 2023. And it, it's everywhere. I mean, and right now you are having lots of objects hovering around our sun. Uh, and they are there and they are causing very serious problems and uprising from our sun so uh, you're going to continue to see this weather acute weather and patterns of things and it's going to be you'll see uh, I still keep sensing something big in the Pacific and on California coming like soon um, and whether it's harp enhanced to make it worse could be but I, I, I don't think so so, thanks, Jen. Much love, hon. Uh, thank you, Lilani. And again, um, 
I, I'm sorry about the word retarded. I'll make sure I don't ever say it again, to be honest with you, because I don't want to offend people by the, something that I didn't mean it in that fashion. So. Uh, yes, Bobby, Trevor, I will say hello to everybody there for you. And uh, thank you, Kathy. And uh, uh, Trevor is on our board and part owner of March for America as well. Uh, we have a lot of board members in here already that are members. And um, uh, we just opened uh, four offices and board members. I did send you a message out, and the documents are scanned. And now we just got approved by our bank for uh, a corporate investment fund. So the corporation can now start buying certain key stocks, gold, and that has uh, become assets of that of the corporation as well. So you'll be getting an email from me on that, and I apologize because all this this news and it's breaking. So for 35 days, we have these major, major events happen. <laughs> uh, it's and I told I knew it was going to happen like this, and it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. And then you're going to have the world ones that are happening like in Saudi Arabia and Iran, North Korea, and the like. Thank you, Deborah. Kim, send out the shirts. What shirts? What shirts am I supposed to send out? <laughs> our shirts come from a our printer. So when you order them from our store, they go direct order goes to the printer. We don't ship them from here. The only thing we ship from here, which is also changing with all our new clothing lines, is that uh, we ship custom jackets from here that we have done by our printer, um, and my daughter handles that with Dawn, and um, other custom stuff. But we don't send out shirts from here. Search Any shirts that are ordered come directly from our printer. Uh, yes, Rhonda, I did say right after Vegas, rapid events right away. And I'm telling you, they, the rapid events have happened over the 35 days, and that is right away for these type of events. And it's going to continue. This is going to continue until... To Hey, Scott, what are you doing, buddy? Kim, back-ordered waiting. Uh, I don't know what you ordered, so I can't answer you and when you ordered it. Shirts, shirts take two, three weeks sometimes from the from the printer. So I don't know what you mean by back order. Usually the printer does the like I said within a three week period of time, and you get them sweatshirts, all that. We don't do that here. So when you go to our store and place the order, it goes right to them. It goes right into the process, and then it, but that process takes sometimes up to three weeks, or it could take a week, depending upon how they are, and then they ship it right out. Uh, so, who is this Kim Plank? Jan, the email, there's a bulk set of emails to go out for everybody for uh, MFA membership agreements. Kim, I'm still confused. You're not answering my question. What did you order and when did you order it so I can hand answer you you the question? Hi Kim, good morning to you. I don't know. I've never been misunderstood for my words as saying something that I am. I've always just been me. And if I say the words, I do. Kim, have a good day at work. A few weeks ago, you ordered it. What did you order? And I can tell you usually then if it's sometimes it's back order or not. But if you ordered a T-shirt a few weeks ago, you should have it at any time. But we can just message us and the team, they will check it for you. And send you a screenshot from the distribu I mean the printer who does it and it will update you when it is coming. And they usually send out a message through Messenger and email when they ship it. A few weeks ago. I don't know if that's two, three, whatever, but please message us or message me here and uh, I will check it out for you. 
but I do know it takes about three weeks sometimes, depending upon what item it is and how busy they are. We don't ship them from here, as I said. I will ship out custom embroidered hats, and this logo is no longer anymore, but it's still going to be on the on our jackets with our new logo and things. Our haters lied and, and tried to trademark this illegally, which now we have to sue them, and the lawyers are working on that. But this is on my logo uh, for that. All right. I don't know. This was a weird night with some weird stuff and strange comments and some other things. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Maybe it's just too late. All right, guys. Good night. God bless.